So you've been told that your instructor is going to use Respondus, and now you want to know what that involves. I want to show you what it's like to take a quiz or exam with Respondus. Respondus is designed to help reduce cheating on exams by limiting what it, websites you can access and by making sure that no one is physically there helping you take the exam. Respondus is a type of online proctoring software. If you were to take an exam in my classroom, I'd be at the front of the room to make sure that you weren't collaborating with another student. Respondus keeps an eye on you and your computer to make sure that you aren't communicating with other people during your exam. In this day and age, it is somewhat unreasonable to expect that people would not use the internet while working on a project. I've decided that I will allow my students access to a few websites. Respondus allows me to give access to some sites while blocking others. Please note that there are many settings within Respondus. Different instructors will use different settings, so your experience might be different in other classes. Getting ready to take the exam. When you're ready to take the exam, make sure that you are in a relatively quiet space. Tell your roommates or family that you should not be disturbed for the duration of the exam. It might help to hang a sign on the door reminding them. Make sure that you aren't sitting in front of a window or other bright light source. Respondus needs to see your face before and during the exam. Gather your equation sheet and paper notes. You won't have access to electronic notes, so pick out the things you'd like to have on paper. Also make sure that you have your student ID handy. Once you're ready, go to the quiz location in Brightspace. For my classes, you can click on the quizzes option in the green menu and scroll down to the exam. Alternatively, you can go to the individual module and navigate to the exam folder. Click on the exam link, then scroll down to the bottom of the page. Installing the Lockdown Browser. Before you start the exam, you'll need to install the Lockdown Browser. If you prefer, you can uninstall it after each exam, but remember to give yourself time to download it again before the next exam. Click on Download and install the latest version of Lockdown Browser. A new browser tab will open. There are three panels. The first is a generic overview video provided by Respondus. Please feel free to look at it, but also realize that I changed some of the settings for my class. The middle panel shows you info about the version of Lockdown Browser. If you need the Mac version, click on the sentence that says, Do you need the Mac version? Clicking the button only changes the middle panel's version information. Once you click the version choice question, you follow the same directions as below. The third panel has a large Install Now button. Click on this to start the download. Once you do this, the software downloads. On a Windows computer, the download shows up in the lower left-hand corner of the browser. Give this a few seconds to download, then click on it. You will be asked if you want the app to make changes to your device. Like all software downloads, you have to click Yes for it to install. Choose your language. For me, it is English, United States. Once you select your language, click Next. A green bar will show the progress. You will need to read and accept the license agreement. Click on the radio button next to I accept the terms of the license agreement, then click Next. After a few moments, the software should be installed. Click on Finish to exit. Now go back to the original browser tab in Brightspace. This time, click on the Launch Lockdown Browser button to start the exam. Be careful here. Two pop-up windows appear, one on top of the other. The one on top has a button, Open Lockdown Browser. Click on this to start. Do not click on the Done button. That is actually a pop-up below the one that we want. Once again, you'll be asked if you want to allow the app to make changes. Click Yes. A big blue window will show up to show that the Lockdown Browser is starting. Turning off communication software. Wait a moment, and you'll see a series of dialogues that make sure you close down all of the communications-based apps on your computer. For my computer, the first program is Discord. I need to click on the Close Process button to stop it. This is to make sure that me and my buddies aren't discussing the exam on Discord. You'll likely have a few of these processes to shut down. We'll all likely have WebEx and maybe a few others, like Slack, Skype, and other programs. Once all of the communications programs are shut down, you'll finally be back at the Brightspace page. But you'll now be in the Lockdown browser, not your original Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. Click on the Start Quiz button at the bottom of the page. 
The Lockdown Browser now takes you through several checks. First, agree to the student terms of use. Next, do the webcam check. Make sure that your laptop or camera is positioned so that your face is near the middle of the screen. Once it is, click on the Yes button. This is the view that your instructor will see if a flag is raised during your exam. Make sure that you are wearing something appropriate. You will now need to do a test run. In this, you record a few seconds of video while speaking. Next, click again on the Record 5 Second Video button. Wait for it to cue you, then say a few words. After a few moments, your video will play back. If you can see and hear yourself, click on the Continue button. Second testing, video one, two. I've posted a few additional instructions. Read these, then click on Continue. Respondus now gives you a few guidelines and tips. Read each of these and click the Next button. Next, you need to take a photo. This helps me make sure that you are the person taking the exam. Click on the Take Picture button. If the photo is good, click on the Continue button. If you'd like to retake it, or it didn't appear, click Try Again. Next, you need to show your student ID. Hold it up close to the camera. I need to be able to see your name and your face, but feel free to put your fingers across your student number. Click Take Picture. On the next screen, Respondus does a facial detection check. Just look at your screen. After a few moments, you should get a thumbs up icon. Click on the Continue button. The last screen is now here. Take a few deep breaths, then click on the Begin Exam button. The first question. The first question on my exam gives you the allowed links and asks you to verify that you will follow the honor code. Not every instructor has this type of question. The allowed links are the websites that you can use during the exam. I recommend that you click on each link. They will open in separate tabs within the lockdown browser. You can then access them as needed without going back to the first question. After opening each of these, Read the academic dishonesty passage from our student handbook. Select true as your answer to agree to the honor code. I'll give you one bonus point to answer this question. Now go through the exam and answer each question. Click on next question to move forward. There is information to the left side of the screen on which questions you have answered. Once you reach the end of the exam, click on the submit quiz button. A confirmation screen will appear. If you accidentally reach this screen before you are done, click on the Back to Questions button. Make sure that you are really ready to end the quiz before clicking the Submit Quiz button to finish the exam. A last window will appear asking if you had any trouble during the exam. Select the proper response. You can type some comments in the comment box, but these comments will only be seen by respondents. Don't tell them how great and wonderfully fair the exam and your instructor are. Now click on Submit. After the exam. After the exam, you will see that your exam has been submitted successfully. You'll also see a list of the questions that you missed. You can take a few minutes to review these questions now or come back to see them later. You will need to have Respondus installed to view these incorrect responses. You may have to scroll down a bit, but at the bottom of the page, you'll see your score. Once you are done reviewing the questions, click on the Done button. The last screen you'll see is a list of your attempts and your scores. For all of my exams, you only get one attempt. If you'd like to review your incorrect answers again, you can click on Attempt 1. Otherwise, click on the Exit Lockdown Browser button. A confirmation window will appear. Read this, then click the Yes button to close down the Lockdown Browser. You'll now be back to your original browser. There is one last confirmation window. Click on the Done button to finally be finished. At this point, you are back to the page we started from in Brightspace. From here, you can navigate freely in Brightspace. If you'd like to see what your instructor sees from Respondus, click this video link. Hopefully, this video has helped you feel more comfortable with how to take an exam with Respondus. There are a few steps necessary but is mostly a pain-free experience.